Because oh, you're God. asking for it. You're dying for it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sharon and when I'm not working full-time as an accountant or studying to become a chartered accountant, I make videos relating to all things beauty. I'm especially passionate about beauty on a budget and how to get the most out of what you already have in your makeup collection. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a new eyeshadow technique that I've tried for the first time today and already trying it for the first time. I have to say that it is life changing brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same i have seen this around here a lot on youtube and especially on instagram but when i actually searched for the name of this technique on youtube i really could not find much i did watch one video in particular that i will link in the description bar that i found extremely helpful in explaining this technique so i will link it down below because this is my first time in trying it i have a lot to improve on and it's definitely not not perfect. I hope you guys find this video helpful. As you soon find out throughout the video, you'll see which technique worked a lot better. So on the left side of my face, I'm going to be taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I've just put a little bit of Inglot drill line in it just to not make it super dry. So this was the eye base that I was using and I'm just using this eBay brush to blend all of that out. So what I would have done first is started off with the lightest transition shade. So I'm using my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm gonna be taking a mix of burnt orange and golden ochre up above here just to blend. And I normally would have taken a brush like this large blending brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. I would just start here and just kind of do a V shape towards the end and just blend it sort of out towards my eye and just doing this shape and I also didn't set the soft ochre paint pot so that's how it's looking so far and just zoom you guys a bit close but in person it just well just as I thought trash I don't know <laughs> it looks pretty shit I'm not gonna lie it's super patchy but we'll just continue then I would normally grab a brush sort of this size just to do the second darker shade. This brush is the EB15 from Sedona Lace and I'm gonna take the shade Venetian Red, which is that pink. I'm just gonna start doing the middle shade here. Then I would normally go back in with that first transition shade that we used and just blend it out. Now I'm gonna go in with the darker shade and I still would use a very small brush from this. This is from MSQ tiniest crease brush and now I'm going to go in with the color red ochre and I am going to mix it with cypress umber which is that dark brown and I would normally just pop that here just underneath where we've placed venetian red my blending is not going very good today then I would go back in with the transition shade I don't have a clean blending brush I'm just using the same and so far, I don't know, the colors don't look, look the best at kind of merging into one another. I actually think this looks horrid. I'm going to go in with golden ochre and I'm just going to try and blend that outside. Try and make sure that's all blended out. Okay, now I'm going to take a clean blending brush. I'm just going to take this Real Techniques blending eye brush. I'm going to go back in with red ochre. And I normally always deepen the edges again because I lose that color. And already, I don't know if you can see, but the colors are just starting to look patchy and there's just no definition. It looks like I've placed that transition on the entire edge of that. Now I'm going to cut the crease. To do that, I will be taking a small detail brush and I'm just going to take some concealer. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm using this angled eyeliner brush from MSQ. This is what I would normally do. I would just stamp it there and then look up because I have hooded eyes and then I would just draw on top of that eyeshadow. Bring all that down. So now I'm going to take this brush from Isabella Phantom. Use it to blend. Okay, and then after I've sort of cut the crease, I would go back in with that darkest shade and just kind of go around the crease. I'm using the same tiny blending brush. And then I would go back in with the transition from before and use it to blend out the top. Oh, it just looks really bad and the colors are just not blending, not sticking to one another. Yeah, I'm not gonna continue with it because it just looks like pure shit. <laughs> so yeah, let's go over to the eye where I'm gonna be trying out the new techniques. I'm gonna use full coverage concealer instead of the soft ochre paint pot. The other one that I have is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC 
20 and I'll just use the same eBay brush to blend that. So now that I've already put the concealer on as an eye base, I'm going to go ahead straight in with my palette. I'll be using smaller brushes, which is something that I've seen LSG Makeup here on YouTube do. And she's absolutely amazing and the queen of blending. So I will link her channel below. These are where I'm getting some of the new techniques. Okay, so I'm going in with the darkest shade. So I've mixed red ochre and cypress umber. And I'm going to start first by placing that on my base. Okay, this is super scary to me because I've never just put on the darkest shadow first and it's completely alien but straight away you can just see that there's so much more pigment and it's not getting lost with all that transition shade so far so so far so good I'm still going to take that same brush I haven't dipped into anything and I'm just going to start trying to blend the outer edge of where I've placed the color I don't want to go straight in and place the next shade straight away okay now with another smaller blending brush this is from Sedona Lace now I'm going to go in with venetian red which is that pink and i'm going to use that to blend the outside just above and i'm just going to blend those two together now that we have that i'm going to be taking this brush this is just an ebay brush tiny ebay brush and i'm going to go in with burnt orange and golden ochre and place this on the outside as the last shade i'm going to use that just to blend the outside and then i will take just a clean blending brush just to blend those out together so my camera overheated, but I haven't done anything else besides just blend out that eye. You can tell that I've blown it out a little bit more, and I know this isn't the best. This is my first time trying this technique, but on this eye, normally I wouldn't stop there. I wouldn't be happy with how it's blended, so I would go back in with the transition shades, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go back in with burnt orange, and normally I would just darken this and keep going until I've got the gradient that I want. Back in with Venetian Red and also just pop that in here so now i'm just placing those colors on top and then i would go back in with this here now i would just basically keep going i probably do need to blow it out a little bit more so that it is even so i'm just gonna go in with the cypress umber and i'm just gonna blow this out and i would basically just keep layering it until i was happy i'm going back in with this shade that i use for the transition and i would just blow that out and i'm already starting to lose some of that, that transition shade that middle pink you can't really see that so now back in with this eye this is what we have so far we have the new technique eye and the old technique eye this is how it's looking so i'm gonna go back in with that that pink to show i do want there to be a transition between the dark pink and that other pink that i placed i'm gonna go in with that and then i'm gonna go back in with burnt orange and golden ochre just on the edges here those are my transition colors and then I am gonna just take now a clean blending brush. This one is from Party Queen. And I'm just gonna blend the outside of that. I just feel like so far you can see more of that transition. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is something that I've seen this makeup artist do here on YouTube. So in, I think it was makeup by Diuska, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. She first takes a concealer, any concealer that she doesn't really like. I'm just using this cheap one. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Yellow Corrector. And she first stamps it on her eyes. So I'm using this flat brush. This one's from Party Queen. And I'm just going to stamp where I want the crease to be. Just stamping it. And then same with, going to go down and just stamp it there. This is probably not the best brush. I think they normally use an actual flat concealer brush, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to, and I think I just need to bring that up just a little bit higher okay so now that i'm happy with that then i'm going to go in with my vaseline and cotton bud to remove as like a makeup remover and i'm going to just get rid of where i placed that initial concealer i'm going to use it as a guide i'm going to take all of that off okay so now that's all removed i'm just gonna take that clean blending brush and i'm just gonna pat on here so i don't want there to be any more vaseline Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the concealer to cut. I'm going to take that MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Actually, I do have a flat concealer brush. I didn't see that. This is Party Queen. I'm going to use that to now stamp what I've just done. 
I'm gonna take this eBay brush and I'm just gonna lightly blend it. I'm not gonna blend it where I've placed it, but I'm just gonna blend on top of that. Okay, so now that's sort of blended and set. Now I would go back in with this brush. This is from e.l.f. and this is their defining eye brush. I'm gonna go back in with red ochre and this is what I would normally do. I would just, I forgot to do it on this eye, but on the old eye, I grabbed the soft crease brush instead to make it more defined. For demonstration's sake, I'm just gonna do the same thing so you can see that's what I would do, but you can tell that I've already lost the concealer there. I'm gonna go back into the new Technique eye and I'm just gonna redefine that where I would have placed that. And it's kind of bleeding into the concealer, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna start applying some here just to blend it out and I'm gonna do the same on this eye Normally I would get some concealer and just blend that here and do the same on the other eye and This is a little bit more intense. This is I took red ochre first I'm gonna grab go back in with Venetian red So I went dark first and I'm going the red color So I'm going the second lightest color and then I'm gonna take a transition color on that eBay brush that I was using. So I'm gonna take burnt orange and then I'm gonna blend burnt orange out just here, halfway on my eye. Now for this one, I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. So I put red ochre first already and now I'm gonna take Venetian red and then burnt orange. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with burnt orange and I'm just gonna blend these out and just the outside here. Okay, so those, this is what my eyes are looking like so far. I definitely have cut the crease on the old eye, not high enough, so that contributes to that. But here I didn't even have to redefine or go over and the blend is just looking so much better. Now I'm just gonna go underneath and clean up the edges and try to get that initial shape. I'm going to just use my Vaseline on the cotton bud. Start by tracing out where I want my eye shape. And I'm going to do the same on the new eye. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a baby wipe and just underneath where I've put that Vaseline. I'm just going to clean underneath. This is what my eyes look like with the two different techniques of blending. This is the traditional way of starting off with the lightest, darkest transition shade and what I've been learning on YouTube so far. And this is a new Instagram artist, P. Louise sort of style. And I don't think I'm ever going to be able to go back to the traditional blending. I don't know if the camera is picking it up well, but I'm telling you in person, it is just, there is a massive massive difference just for my sake because i need to keep filming i'm just going to do what i can to fix up the crease i will go ahead and fix up the rest of my face makeup and try and salvage what i can to make it look even to this and i will be back okay so i've done the rest of my face my bleh. i've done the rest of my face makeup and done some liquid eyeliner not my best eyeliner i have to say but i'm just gonna roll with it and now i'm gonna try out the technique similar in a similar fashion underneath my eye starting with the darkest to the lightest and see if that makes any difference i don't know if this applies but normally i would always do my under eye shadow from lightest to darkest okay so i'm taking the cypress umber and i am just applying that first with a small brush then i'm going to go in with venetian red and then i'm going to go back in with the first shade which is a transition and that is burnt orange and then I'm just gonna go underneath i will go in with a little bit more of red ochre and i'm just gonna pop that there okay now we are gonna do how i normally would do it i would normally take the transition and i would just normally apply the entire thing the bottom of my eye i'm gonna pop venetian red just in the middle towards the edge i'm gonna go in with red ochre and cypress umber and i'm gonna place it on the edge here and that's how we have it so far. I don't think there's too much of a difference, although I didn't bring the transition shade all the way through and I feel, feel like with the bottom eyeshadow, it's not as bad. You can just get away with whatever you, you wanna do. So this is what it looks like after I've put lashes on my eyes. Sorry if it looks like the lashes are, there's like some sort of white glue. The last time I wore these lashes, I was wearing glitter, so it's kind of stuck there. But this is what the finished result looks like. This, again, this side of my face is using the reverse blending technique, which I have tried for the first time today. It's definitely not perfect, but I am already just stunned by the difference comparing to the first eye and how I used to do it. 
and it's definitely something I'm gonna have to perfect and continue working on but I wanted to share it with you guys. On the original eye over here you can just see that the transition shade is just blending it looks extremely brown and totally muddy whereas, whereas on this eye you can really see that definition and that blend and it picks up beautifully on camera as well as in person so that is the finished result so that is the end of my video please let me know down in the comments below if you think using this technique was better than how i originally did my makeup and what you think of it let me also know in the comments how you don't normally do your eyeshadow first do you go light to dark or dark to light please also give this video a big thumbs up it would help me so so much and i would really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel as well I mean, you made it all this way to the end. Please subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much again for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this. And in saying that, I hope you're having an amazing day, night, afternoon or morning or wherever you are in your part of the world. And I will catch you guys in my video next week. Bye.